Hi Taurus, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Jess from Bahati Life Apothecary. For those of you guys that don't know, thank you so much for tuning in. We're doing things a little differently this month. I tried this once and then I kind of gotten, I kind of neglected it. But then one of my subscribers, one of the members from the Bahati Vibe Tribe asked, Jess, can you please do predictions, intuitive predictions for the month of October? And the way that they asked it was so sweet that I was just like, yes, yes I can. And I really genuinely am appreciating and loving doing this for you guys. And I feel like this is gonna benefit you as soon as it goes up. So that is what we're gonna be doing. If you are not subscribed to my YouTube channel and you're curious what, you know, what is this? Why aren't we talking about astrology? Well, that's because astrology is something that I talk about every single week on my YouTube channel. Every week I post a video on what's going on in the planets and the stars and the cosmos and I share those messages with all of us collectively. And I just didn't want to repeat myself because I genuinely love coming every coming to you guys every week and sharing that. So if you're interested in astrology and you're in, interested in being guided every week, then go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Turn on your notifications and then I will see you in the future as I pull them. But for now, we are focusing with cards and work, I'm working with my tarot and my intuition. Now, Taurus, is that who I'm doing right now? Yes. Taurus, I have not seen these cards yet, as when you see them is when I see them, and I'm gonna be working exclusively intuitively. So that being said, let's go ahead and dive right in. So the first card that I'm seeing for you guys, whoa, is the Queen of Cups and the Sun card, and then also behind that is Engagement, and then we see Self Love, then I'm saying I'm seeing things are about to get really juicy, then I'm seeing Bold, Healing, Eternal Love, flow of prosperity, communication, spider, trust the creative spark you're feeling and express it through writing stories and that inspire and enlighten and also the card of coming to life. Oh man, something is being created here. Something is coming to life. Something is stirring. I feel like you're going to be hearing some things. It's like you're catching it in a web, just like what we're seeing with this spider. I think that abundance is starting to flow in and you're just in a space of receiving it. As you get it, you're just like, yes, 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 yes. What else? Oh, okay, yes. You're just in a space of pulling, pulling, pulling. Um, I think that, not that I think, I know that sometimes, I don't remember who what the other sign was that got this reading but it's kind of similar to yours sometimes we look at healing and our path our spiritual spiritual journey as difficult we expect our personal growth and we expect life to be difficult we expect us to have to kind of like you know do the most in order to gain the most well taurus you are in a space right now where you are receiving you're, you need to be in a space to receive. Life is really, truly about to get juicy for you. Everything is kind of flowing in. There's a few things that are drawing my attention. And it's the lily. Um, I'm looking at the flow of prosperity card, but the only thing I'm seeing is the fact that she's standing on a lily and there's lily pads all around her. Then I started asking myself in my head, which you guys didn't hear me do that, but I heard me do it. And I saw the healing card here and I was looking for other lilies and I see them here at the bottom. Then I see the spider and I, why am I drawn to this when it comes to the lily? And that when I see the spider, I feel as though these are things that you've been calling out for, that you've been consciously and subconsciously weaving together to create the catch of what the universe is trying to give to you or what you've been wanting for yourself, really. It was self-love that called you to ask for these blessings. It was self-love, you you wanting more for yourself. Your own, you've evolved so much. The, the lily is so significant because it comes out of these murky depths and it grows and it blooms this pure essence, this pure thing at the top of the water just sits there. And that is a blessing, that is a gift. I feel as though you have learned so much, Taurus. Maybe you can relate to this or maybe you've been this way your whole life, but a lot of us are going through this or a lot of us have gone through this where we learn what it is that we, we learn about self-love, we learn how to value ourselves, we learn how to call out and ask for what it is that we want for ourselves. And then sometimes we learn how to create it, meaning like how we can, what work we can do to bring it in. And the other side is how we can co-create it, working with the universe, working with the divine, working with our angels, our guides. And the other side of that 
is our ability to finally to receive it. And a lot of people struggle with that. When I see bold, and I, I felt really instinctively called to put this in the past. However, it's the past that is painting the present and your future. I feel like you've put some really bold, you've made some bold moves. You've put some, you've said some bold things. You've said some bold prayers maybe, or set some bold intentions of things that you knew were going to bring you to life. Things that you knew were going to make you happy. You really wanted something for yourself, something more. You put it out there. Maybe you told someone, well, now you're going to catch it. October is the month of things really, truly, things are about to get really juicy. I also, am, October is the time of Halloween and everyone goes trick-or-treating. Well, some people are go trick-or-treating. But this is like a grab bag for you. This is where you're literally going to each house or whatever, or each moment within your life for the month of October, each opportunity, and you just open your bag and people just put candy in it. And you're like, like in our brains sometimes we're like, people don't do that. You don't just ring a door, like go up to a stranger's door and ring a doorbell and they just put treats in your bag. Well, on this day they do Halloween. That's the blessing of Halloween. We go, we call it trick or treating. We do it every year. Some places in the world they'll be like, what? Free candy, what? The rest of us have to work for it. We haven't seen a piece of chocolate ever. It's like, well, here we don't have to work about it, work for it, it's just given to us. Well, Taurus, this is your trick or treat month. <laughs> Taurus is going trick or treating and your bag is just getting filled. And it's things that are going to make you happy it's news, communication, and things that you hear that bring you to life. It's things that you have been co-creating, things that you've been feeling. It's this creativity that needs to be expressed. It's love, eternal love, especially love. Some of you guys, um, I actually don't feel this way, but I like I haven't heard you, but I hear you complain. Like I, mo all of my comments on my YouTube channel are so positive. I have. For the amount of subscribers that I have on my YouTube channel, the you would expect there to be a little bit of negative feedback. I rarely get negative feedback. But I always feel like sometimes internally, maybe it's just me as a Virgo second guessing myself, but I always feel like I should be a little bit more specific with these readings for you guys and tell you exactly what that blessing is gonna be. But the thing is that these readings are very general. And the other thing is that you know, if I'm not called, I'll never lie to any of you guys. If I'm not called to say something specific, I will not say it because I'm making a false promise. And that's something I will never do. Not for any of my clients. Now, if I book a reading with someone, because that's a sp more specific, then I can give a promise promise. And I also receive real clarity, real confirmation. For you guys, I really am feeling like this is things that, whatever it is that is the mo thing that is the most valuable to you in your heart. This could be abundance. Like you, and I don't, I don't see you compromising anything. So let's say if you want a job or if you want abundance, it's doing something that is that you love. Let's say it's, you want love, you want romance. Well, you're not gonna compromise. You're not gonna settle for just anything. Let's say this is um, creativity, a creative project. Well, you're not just going to half-ass your creative project. You're gonna put your heart into it. And you pouring yourself into this thing and you sharing and receiving this. And literally, it's like this tender, caring thing that is happening here. This person doting on you, this person loving you and being gentle with you. That is what it's gonna be like with your work, with your clients, with your customers. This is what it's gonna be like with your love life. This is what it's gonna be like with your family. This is what it's gonna be like with your health. You're gonna feel so nurtured and so provided for. You're gonna hear the things that you need to hear. You like receiving things from other people and you giving to yourself in addition to that is all a part of this self-love. It's there for your enjoyment. It's there for your pleasure. It's there to make you happy. The other thing is that I can't ignore the fact that the engagement card is here. I just feel like things are really starting to spark up. You're really starting to see things evolve to the next level for you. And it's taking to the next level. Again, this is not something that just came out of nowhere. It's not like this random, um, it's not like this random, you know, I, I never asked for this. It's like what you asked for and then some. It's you asked for this and I'm gonna give you more. Like you're, you're gonna ask yourself, wow, 
yes, I, I spun this web. Yes, I put this intention out. Yes, I called this out. But then the universe provided this eternal love. The universe provided this romance, this dream that's of my heart that I've been internally seeking, that I've been eternally loving. And then they gave me this in addition to that. Trick or treat. <laughs> Trick or treat. Okay, so what is what else is? That was a short reading, but I just see a lot of emotional fulfillment. I see your cup being filled. I don't see again, I don't see it just happening out of out of the blue. I think it's happened because you you've actually called it out. In fact, as I'm looking at this, I feel like this is what you have put out. This is like you. Even though this is a goddess, it's like she's sitting on the lotus and she's evolving, but this is you coming out of the dark murkiness. So you put prayers out and that's what you've been putting out. See her hand, she's been sprinkling things. That could be prayer, it could be intention. But she's also starting to receive all these other things with all her other hands. Again, trick or treat. So you're getting all of these things, this flow of abundance is coming in because that's how energy works. You put out the prayer, you ask for what is it you needed. Sorry about that guys. So for whatever reason, I just happened to look down at my phone and I saw that it cut off. But the additional cards that I pulled for you were meditate, direction, and ambition. So when I'm seeing these cards, Taurus, what I'm seeing for you is that, because um, when I was shuffling for you, when I when I was shuffling these cards for you, I was focusing on what it is that you put out there, the information that you put out there, what were you saying to the universe. It was like through your meditation, you were asking for maybe direction, maybe some clarity, but you knew exactly what it is that you wanted. And that was a part of this web that you were kind of painting for yourself or spinning for yourself. And now during this time, because things are with the cards, if things are about to get juicy and coming to life, now you're going to start to see these things kind of manifest and reveal themselves and make themselves known to you. Okay. So I'm so sorry that that video cut off. I don't know what happened with that. That's really random. But I think actually, if I'm looking back at it, it was like 11 minutes and 11 seconds or something like that. So maybe that's significant towards someone, but I don't know if that was exactly the case, but I will definitely check that out. But maybe that's confirmation and clarity for some of you guys. But in the meantime, thank you so much for tuning in and watching. My apologies for the poor quality of this video and microphone. I'm actually having to work with my phone today because my um, cameras memory drive is acting really really weird so yeah but you guys know I'm good for a good quality video and a good quality message so if you want to continue receiving that make sure that you subscribe if you're not already subscribed and until then I'll see you in my next video bye